Good morning guys, it is our last full day here in Cairns and we just went and picked up one of these bad boys from Snapshot. It is an underwater camera because we are going to be going scuba diving today. Yeah! Steven's currently getting a ticket for our car. Oh, and I've left the car wide open. Oh dear. Got a little bit too excited. How pumped are you to go scuba diving? It's been almost a year. Yeah, Since we've been qualified, yeah, we're with like Louis and like everyone scuba diving, getting our license. I know. As Stephen said, we're barely struggling to hold on here. It is the roughest day we've ever seen. <laughs> 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 We haven't dived since getting our licenses and I've already forgotten everything. Good thing we got that license. I can't even remember. <laughs> It'll be fine. That'll like give us a little refresh. And first time ever using something that's not a GoPro. Oh, how Open it up. Off. I actually want to see what it looks like. I really want to get a housing for this camera that I'm using right now. The G7X. Oh, how fancy. cool. I'm so excited to try it. Is that a flash on top? Oh, it could be. I don't even know how to use this. <laughs> I see our boat right at the end. Exciting! Oh, Sleepy. It's like the book that I wrote, or all the words that we spoke, yet only with our eyes. We just got to our first dive spot. It is so clear today. I mean, it looks so rainy when we were leaving, but now that we're out here, maybe because we're away from the mountains, it's so clear. This is going to be our first dive spot just here, and we're going to do two dives here. I can't wait to go in. And it's like 40 minutes each dive, so we're going to be down there for so long. We've got our little camera here. Yeah! We look like professionals. I'm going to seriously look into how much one of these costs for our little camera. Ready to go? This looks so good. Oh, my lens is fogging up a bit. And lunch is exactly what I felt like. Eyes definitely way too big for my stomach. We just got back from our first two dives. We are doing three dives when we're up here. Bit of a slight rain, but it's so nice and humid today. I really just don't mind just sitting here and eating our lunch in the rain. But our first two dives were so much fun. We got to see like Nemo, we got to see a triggerfish, we got to see like a whole bunch of coral, which is so beautiful. Really enjoyed those dives. It's so good being able to scuba dive because I feel like you do get to see so much more. And also I feel like you have so much more control when I'm filming because I can like level myself out and get some cool shots for you guys. But that family of Nemo, that was the highlight so far. We're just coming up to our third dive and hopefully we can see a bit of a turtle because that would just be the icing on top of it. <laughs> After the storm and everything, I still can't believe how calm this water is. Honestly, this has been the best day for diving. Thanks guys, see ya, thank you, thank 
you. No, no. Guys, we just got back into Cairns and that was seriously one of the best dives. That third dive when we got to see the whole like, I, they just, the camera never shows how big they are. Those animals were just huge. Cool thing is that Frankie, who actually works for Deep Sea Divers Den, has been watching us since Canada and he saw we were in Cairns and invited us along, which was amazing. So thanks so much for Frankie. And if you guys want to go on the Great Barrier Reef, definitely ask for Frankie because I'm sure he wants to hear from you guys. But it's still dripping, still raining a bit, but it didn't ruin the day at all. It was so cool. <laughs> everybody it is now our final day here in Cairns so we decided to come down to Palm Cove which is just north of Cairns to get our last glimpse of the beautiful tropical sands and beaches and finally it is a beautiful sunny day I think this is the most blue sky we've seen this entire time I'm really gonna miss you Cairns like look at that guys Seriously, this is paradise. We cannot recommend enough to come up here. We might put on our blog like a little, I don't know, seven days or five day trip itinerary there so you guys can like do all the things that we have done. Ah, oh, look at this. I'm kind of jealous. Someone's on a jet ski over there. And like, Cairns really gives off the kind of vibe of being a tropical island. I know we're still connected to the mainland of Australia, but the way that it's like curved and you can see some of the this is what I'm talking about you can see like an island here you can see like it curving here it really does give you that sense that you're on a tropical island literally just jumped out of the shower and old Roger's back and some carrot we can definitely tell it's Roger by one one major defining quality <laughs> and we just fed him a carrot I'm really gonna miss just being able to come outside and see the little wallabies one down there oh they love their carrot Found it. Hee hee hee. Hello. 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 Oh, just what I wanted. How long do we have now? Like 15 minutes. Do you want to walk over there? Guys, it actually feels so strange to be at the airport at the moment because all our trips in 2016, we never had a three weeks in one place before we caught a flight. It was like at least maximum a week. So it actually feels strange. I feel like we're going on to another trip. I'm actually looking forward to spending a little bit of time in Perth. Yeah, because it's been boom, boom, boom for the last two months. But we do have another trip planned very shortly which is still getting finalized and then we will tell you guys about it. We just went to board and there was a thunderstorm warning which means we can't board yet. It is now 20 to 7. Our flight was meant to leave in 20 minutes time so we'll see how this night plays out. I don't feel like being stuck in an airport. I just want to go home <laughs> to my blow up mattress. <laughs> Boarding. First flight of the year and we're the last ones to check in. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Oh, we'll see you later. Seriously. See you cans. I'm sure we will be back. Thank you for waiting. Appreciate it. Alrighty guys. Night flight. Not much as interesting is gonna happen, so we'll see you in Perth in like five hours time. First flight of 2017, done. <laughs> Mom's oblivious. Hello! How are you guys? Oh, thank you. you I like your emoji. Snack. Look at their emoji, you little smelly thing. Mm. That's cute. It's super late, so I have to be quiet, but it feels so good to be home. I was feeling anxious all day about that flight, and then we got to the airport, and there was lightning storms, and it was delayed, and it made me even more anxious, and I'm really glad that flight is now over. We are now home and sleeping in a blow mattress because Annie, Nikki, and Byron are here, and we will be seeing them tomorrow. It's so late, I didn't want to wake them up. So yes, we are sleeping on a, another blow mattress, but only for one more night, so it's okay. And the tree is still up, which I was actually quite kind of excited about. <laughs> still feels like it's Christmas. Anyway. Hey, we're going to bed now, Stephen's having a shower, and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!